As a delusion sanctuary, our duty will be preserving and protecting delusions both in Akiba and across the world. Delusions are a privilege granted to all living beings and serve as a guidepost to the realization of inimitable ideals. That said, they are a precious resource, and by protecting them, we hope to serve as a foundation for global development. What the hell does preserving delusions mean? That's what I'd like to know. Why? How? Kurosaki should be... He's... Seems our director's not somebody who dies so easily. If you've been disquieted by the appearance of an hour after midnight, by all means, come and talk to us in person. And please, do not panic. We at the Delusory Administration Bureau want nothing more than to keep you safe. We will look after not just your personal safety, but the peace of the world at large. A world in which delusions can be realized will be a world of ideals, where war is a thing of the past. Do you not wish to see this world for yourselves? Then join us and embrace a future where neither tears nor blood will ever have to be spilled again. The invitation extends to every last one of you on the streets of Akihabara, as you have been chosen by delusion. We're chosen beings? For real? Huh, that's super jiggy. No, it's not true. Why have things turned out like this? But this is no longer the Akihabara you know. It has been reborn thanks to the efforts of a solitary group. That's right. They transformed a day that kept repeating into a day that will never end. Every single one of them wished for this. Wished with all they had. Is he talking about us? That can't be right. And now, I introduce you to the man behind this delusion. The man who's truly taken up the mantle, so to speak. Though I do believe you all already know him. I speak, of course, of the Pink Cape Delusion Contractor, Kenneth. Allow me to guide you to a wonderful delusion, sweeter even than your wildest dreams. Take heart, everyone. We at the Delusory Administration Bureau have recruited the ultimate authority on delusion. Cannon! How? I think I'm starting to get it. The one we saw Kasuga kill was a decoy. A fake. Do you think Cannon made the devil? The Delusory Administration Bureau thanks you for your attention to our special announcement. But before we go, let's give the wonderful people responsible for this spectacle another hand, shall we? They've been playing us this whole time. We've been had. They tricked us! Damn it! So, from a time loop to a never-ending day, huh? That's why Cannon lured us in back there. He was trying to make us dream up a delusion where this day never ended. And I fell for it. I just kept thinking, I wish things could stay like this forever. And Cannon contracted it out into a fully-fledged delusion. And all because I hesitated. <laughs> Don't act like you're the only one who wanted that, Tachibana. You're not that special as Snowflake. That's right. I thought the same thing. I didn't want to forget, so I didn't want the day to end. Who has no thumbs and thought the same thing? This guy. Me too. And I felt the same way, of course. I guess you could say I did, too. I didn't. Honestly, 
I was fine either way. Warms my heart, really. But why? Why would the pink-caped freak contract out a delusion to make the day go on forever? Maybe he wanted to be immortal? I think the little lady's right. It had to have been a form of self-preservation. He just wanted to exist forever. So maybe he's not an avatar after all. It was probably instinctual. He doesn't know any other way to live. So we're stuck in a day that never ends? How is that different from a time-looped day? A time-looped day is just the same day repeating itself over and over again. Okay. And a day that never ends? I don't know. Huh? Well, I do know one thing. Or I might. This is very fresh intel, so I haven't yet been able to corroborate it. Supposedly, we're completely trapped here in Akiba. Why? Akihabara is the only part of the world stuck in this particular day. Which means that we cannot leave this time bubble we're a part of. Which cuts us off from the outside world. Probably because this is our delusion. And since we all met here in Akiba, our delusion is limited to this one day in this one spot. Which means the town is in a dangerous state. The reason and logic of the outside world no longer apply here. So, it's less of a delusion sanctuary and more of a delusion biosphere. I'm sure the DAB loves calling it a sanctuary. It's more of a preserve, though, if you think about it. The semantics aren't important. What happens if things go on like this? One second, one minute, one hour, one day. The time difference between here and the real world will keep slipping. And the farther removed we become, the less stable things will get. There's no telling what might happen. That doesn't sound good. Then we need to nullify this delusion as soon as humanly possible. That's not going to be easy, though. The pink-caped weirdo is going to be anticipating that. But if we can destroy the delusion of the never-ending day, then all the other delusions will fall, right? Well, I see some knowledge does manage to penetrate the incredible thickness of your skull. Impressive. Oh, shut up. It's not just the delusion we have to destroy, though. This will be the end. For real. Yeah. We have to completely wipe out the day we spent together. I suppose we do, don't we? And here we all thought we were prepared. <laughs> Doesn't bug me. Hey, Ragey. I'll get to stop babysitting you punks and we'll be freed from all these damn delusions. I finally get to live my life. Ray Ray. If ever there were a time to be honest with yourself, it would be now. <laughs> you ever know me to say anything that isn't true? You needn't pretend to have your life together around me. I can see right through that. Just be the child you are. You must realize, no? That even if the endless day is destroyed, that alone won't free you from the delusions. <sighs> um, what do you mean? I'm referring to the reason our memories still exist, even after our delusions are nullified. A phenomenon of which Asahi stands as living proof. I do? You dreamed up the repeating day, did you not? Yet you haven't lost a single memory. Despite the fact that your delusion was very definitely shattered. That's because you were and are still a deluser. Because there's another delusion now. I knew you were a smart one. Yes, another delusion was born. Just before the delusion of the repeating day was nullified, the delusion of the never-ending day came into existence. When one delusion was taken down, another was waiting in the wings. So what you're saying is... We're all... There is no limit to the number of delusions one can be a part of. That is what's happening here. The infinite potential of delusions. So I have other delusions in me too? <sighs> I can't decide how you should all deal with this. Will you face your other delusions? Or will you avert your eyes? Will you live in a world of changing daily events? Or in an endless world where nothing changes? We don't have the time to weigh our options like that. 
Ah, but you must. At times like this in particular, it is imperative that you make the time to worry. But, oh, it's getting late, isn't it? So, if only for a night, or whatever the equivalent is now, I'd suggest you worry well. What do we want to do? That's the spirit. Worry now while you're young. It gets much harder with age, if only for the wrinkles. Oh, hey, Asahi. What's up, Mippity? I see you're still stuck in Akihabara, too. Wait, don't tell me you can't get home. My place is just next to Akiba, which means it's just barely included in the bubble. So I'm okay, I think. Though I guess that's not really that okay, is it? Yeah, that seems pretty not okay to me. But for the moment, I am okay, I think. Or part of me is, anyway. Is that why you're here? To kind of make yourself more okay? This is where it all started for me. I had so many people cheering me on, even if it was just a delusion. And once that delusion ended, I had to go back to being an ordinary girl. Nobody's cheering for me anymore. Not in real life. And when I think about that, I get really scared. Do you want someone to cheer for you then? Huh? Or do you want to be the one cheering? Ugh. I remember what you said on the stage. Every word. Ryumamose, age 14, signing on. I like collecting pink accessories, and I hate bugs. And what's your dream for the future? To become a top idol. And what do you want from the people living here? To make them smile, and to cheer them on. See? <laughs> You're right. I need to start cheering for these people. And I'll cheer for you while you do. Huh? Even if anything and everything turns out to be a delusion, even if I forget all about the events of this day, I'll cheer for you, Mippity. <laughs> Thank you very much. But why is it that even though your words make me so happy, my heart hurts so much? Are you all right? It's just such a wonderful feeling to have people cheering for you. I want everyone to know what that feels like. So I'm going to become a top idol and cheer for every single person living in Akihabara no matter what. And I'm going to make them all smile. That's the way, and I know you can make that happen, Mippity. In fact, I can even guarantee it. <laughs> I got a guarantee from a neat. It's just as good as any. But thank you very much. You've made me feel a lot better. Looks like you've got your answer. I'm going to cheer for the world. So Asahi, I want you to cheer for me. Hey. Well, if it isn't Asahi, what's up? Checking out the nightlife? Uh, no, not exactly. How about you, Reiji? Are you on your way home or something? Does it look like I'm going home? Not particularly. Let me ask you something. What does this delusion look like to you? Hmm, I'm not exactly sure. Some kind of digital something or other? Well, yeah, that's pretty much accurate, I guess. Even I couldn't figure it out at first. But when my delusion formed, the stores around here started doing really well. What do you mean? I realized it once my delusion was destroyed. I was living in a digital world. How did you pull that off? I saw everything in zeros and ones. It makes sense that the delusion I spawned made the whole world that way. That is very... you. It's cynical is what it is. If this digitization spreads, it'll make everything binary. But, if we destroy the delusion of the eternal day, all the other delusions will go with it. Nothing left at all. Just zeros. No ones. And in the end, we humans are the ones responsible for making that final call. The answer I've been seeking is right at hand, and yet... I... I... You're afraid of what'll happen when you reach that answer, aren't you? Yeah. That's exactly it. The answer I wanted wasn't a zero or a one, it was something more ambiguous. So I've been turning my eyes away from the answer right under my nose. <laughs> Not like me, is it? But that is the real you, isn't it? I don't want to admit it if it is. That's a bad habit a lot of adults have, isn't it? Seeking out an answer only when that answer is convenient, I mean. <laughs> it may well be. 
Personally, I wouldn't say I'm particularly smart, and I used to absolutely hate tests when I was little, but no matter how poorly I did on them, I never worried about it. And why's that? Well, because whether I got a zero or a one, I still failed, right? Uh, I wouldn't say you're particularly smart either. Well, I am a neat after all. How smart can I be? But you're the real idiot here. Am I now? You need to just find your answer, no matter what it might be. You're a kid who never quite learned how to grow up, aren't you? Guilty as charged. I couldn't have put it better. I've grown up in years, but not in my heart. I'm still just a snot-nosed little brat. And there you have it. A perfect zero-point answer. Take pride in it and face the truth. <laughs> Your stupidity may have just saved me, kid. Guess I never had to worry about the answer in the first place. What's a geek like you doing in a place like this? Tachibana? What the hell? Don't sneak up on me like that. I wasn't sneaking. Why so jumpy? Wait, you weren't just thinking lewd thoughts or anything, were you? Psh, no. If you say so. I was just thinking, this all feels so video gamey, right? You see it all the time. The night before the final battle, one of the heroes goes off by himself and gets lost in thought for a while. Leave me alone. All right, whatever you say. We'll just assume that your lewd thoughts weren't directed at anyone I know. This really is like something out of a game, though, isn't it? Yeah, nullifying delusions and chasing down mysteries. There's even a mysterious evil organization. And we've acquired weird-ass special powers that we use in battle. Yeah, it's exceedingly game-like, come to think of it. Even this conversation we're having right now feels like an RPG trope. Right now? You feel it too, don't you? It's like we're just a few scenes from the ending. Wonder how many games I've got that I've given up on right before the ending. I totally get what you're saying. And I finally understand why I've never been able to clear all those games. I didn't want them to end. I wanted to keep on adventuring forever. I'd rather do that than save the world. You mean... But this is a story we have to end. I'm no player this time. I'm one of the heroes of this story. Well, a party member at least. Yamato. But why? Why is it that even if I do save the world, nobody's gonna remember it? So what? Even if nobody remembers we still saved the world, we can honestly tell people that too. Not if we don't remember doing it. How can we gloat if we don't even remember what we did? I think you know the answer to that. Just keep the Chuni spirit alive in your heart. Hey, you stepping? No, I'm not stepping, you dweeb. What I'm saying is, it's always been our destiny to save the world. That's just the role we've been given. Huh? In all the stories you've encountered, how many people have wound up saving the world? A lot. And after they did, how many were even accepted into the worlds they saved? I see your point. All the protagonists we've fallen in love with over the years have met with fates just like ours, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah, I guess they did. And they're always saving the world without anybody knowing about it. See? And weren't they much more awesome for having done it that way? Ha! <laughs> no need to get rhetorical. We both know the answer to that. Of course we do. Then I'll just have to join them. I'll save the world, then disappear into the annals of history. A nameless hero, existing only in legend. I figured I'd find you here. Hi, Asahi. Hey, do you remember? When we were little, we used to always make up secret bases to play around in. Of course I remember. We'd bring our most precious treasures into them so we could protect them with our lives. Oh, so we're calling those treasures now? What do you mean? Well, it seemed like all you ever brought were dirty magazines. Really? Wait, you seriously forgot about that? N no, I just... Didn't exactly want to remember that part, I guess. Well, once this is all over, neither of us is going to remember a whole lot. Even if we try, we'll forget it all. Mizuki. Everything about this long, looping day that I got to spend with you and your friends. And everything about Boss, Akari, and Aoi. Does that mean you're not planning on... 
No, not at all. Don't worry. Boss and the twins wouldn't want me to let them stand in the way of the truth. Personally, I'm proud of my delusion. The Freedom Fighters wanted to protect Akihabara, and that's exactly what they did. And they did it well. Or so I'd like to think, anyway. They did. But there's one thing I can't quite accept. What's that? When Boss said the Freedom Fighters were disbanded, I can't accept that. Because even right this very minute, I'm performing my duties as the sub-boss of the Akihabara Freedom Fighters. You haven't gone home yet either, huh? I've been considering that this might be our final encounter and just wanted to come here for some reason. Yeah. Hey, Asahi. Even if our memories of spending time with everyone disappear, do you think you'll still find me? I thought finding people was your job. No, not for this one. You're the one who found me, not the other way around. Or maybe I should say that you found the other me. The one I could never bring myself to tell anyone about. Which is why I want you to find me again. If today does wind up being the end, I don't know if I can make it on my own. I was only able to be honest about myself because you were there for me. It was a pretty embarrassing time for me, but thank you. Hey, what are you saying all of a sudden? Come on, don't get all blushy and make this weird. I'm thanking you, so just accept it. You're gonna make me blush, too. S sorry But I guess that's the one thing about you that hasn't changed in this whole ordeal, isn't it? Yeah. For everything I've learned and all the character growth I've gone through, I'm still just a neat. Well, as a savior of Akihabara, I'd say you're a pretty rare breed. Well, I wouldn't be doing any of that if I hadn't met you, Saki. So, thanks. Huh? Uh, no, no, that's not... Hmm? Come on, you're turning red now. You can't be so cavalier about saying such embarrassing stuff. He's thanking you, just accept it, right? But Pinkoon? Don't tell me you forgot it was here. Sheesh, I stay quiet for a bit and you get lost in each other's eyes. Th that's not true, Dingus. Yeah. Now you're stealing my lines? <laughs> there we go, Saki. I like seeing you laugh at Asahi way more than seeing you blush over something. Pinkoon. But I wanted to say the same thing. Hold on, what were we talking about again? We were thanking each other, Dingus Lord. Sheesh. <laughs> I knew that. I was just messing with you. I refuse to believe the lies of a neat. Okay, simmer down now. No need to get fussy. Go right ahead. Go ahead and what? Huh? You just said you wanted to say thank you. Go ahead. I'm all ears. I don't have to thank you for Jack. I want to thank Saki. Seriously? N me You bet. A proper thank you has been a long time coming. Thank you for finding me, for one thing. No, I should be thanking you for finding me. Even when I wasn't there for you, you still kept waiting for me and believing in me, didn't you? Of course I did. After all, I'm a familiar with a storied and honorable history bound to your family line. Like I keep saying. Thank you, Pinkoon. But... What prompted this all of a sudden? Well, I saw the two of you getting all mushy and I decided I wanted in. Besides, I also kind of felt like I had to say something, you know? I do. Since you're hanging around, I guess there's something I want to say to you too, Asahi. Could you have phrased that in a way that made me sound any more like an afterthought? Well, you are, so... Yeah, yeah, what is it? Thank you for believing in Saki. Huh? It's just an incidental bit of extra thanks, remember? I don't want to make a big deal out of it or anything. I mean, I won't, but why even bring it up in the first place? You believed in something pretty out there. It was a reality that sounded a lot like delusion, but you believed it. It's not like I didn't have my doubts. That's not it, though. You also believed in Saki the whole time she was gone, and that made me really happy. Yeah, no die believed in her. Yeah. I mean, we're friends. Asahi. I want to thank you too, Pinkoon. Yeah, you better thank me. I want to thank you for... Wait. Now that I think about it, you didn't really do anything, did you? Come on, I'm the cute mascot character. Just having me around is more than enough. I lift your stupid spirits. 
<laughs> I guess you do. I mean it, too. Having you around really does make things a lot better, so thank you. Mm-hmm. There we go. What do you say we head home now? I'm tired. Have a good night, Asahi. Saki? What is it? Have you decided what you want to do? Yeah. And this is just a what if. Just saying. But if all our memories together were to get wiped out, would you come find me again? For real? Yeah. It's just a what if. But if it happens, I promise you I will. I will find you. Then I'll promise you too. I'll try to find you again. That's the tomorrow I'm going to strive for. Hey, not heading home? No. I just figured I'd cool myself in this breeze a little. You're lamenting the idea that you'll lose this place, aren't you? Of course. This is the first place I've ever truly belonged. But you can't bring yourself to go inside. I was about to, before I was rudely interrupted. No, you weren't. You don't have to lie to me. I'm not. Then go on in. <laughs> now I've changed my mind. I don't buy that. Oh? It's not your mind that's changed. It's you. Oh, don't give me that pithy crap. Well, if you won't hear it, then I don't want you getting within a one meter radius of me. What? I haven't heard you give anyone any radii for a while now. Because nobody ever takes it seriously when I do. Exactly. Okay. You've clearly had something to say to me since you got here. So out with it. Now. I just said it. I've noticed a real change in you since we first met. <laughs> I haven't changed a bit. Then in that case, I imagine you've already decided what you want to do. Of course. I intend to reduce cannon to little bits of pink cape floating in the wind. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay, maybe you haven't changed. That's what I've been trying to tell you. But once the delusion is gone, you're going to forget all about our time together. So what? I'll be relieved to finally forget all you losers. You won't feel lonely? <laughs> all right, then. See you around. Don't catch cold now. Uh, I will feel lonely. How could I not? Don't push your luck. Just let me be me until the end, okay? I'm still here, Ko. Well, that's enough RPG-style encouragement for one day. I'd better get home and get some rest. There's no place like home. Thanks, guys. I feel like I can actually do this now. I'll try to find you again. That's the tomorrow I'm going to strive for. I'm going to cheer for the world. So, Asahi, I want you to cheer for me. I'll save the world, then disappear into the annals of history. A nameless hero, existing only in legend. Don't push your luck. Just let me be me until the end, okay? Guess I never had to worry about the answer in the first place. Even right this very minute, I'm performing my duties as the sub-boss of the Akihabara Freedom Fighters. All right. I know what I have to do. Good morning. Wait, huh? Yo, you're late. We were just about ready to leave without you. Why do we even bother setting a schedule at this point? This is why it sucks to have to rely on a neat. Did you at least wash your face before you left your apartment? We've been waiting for you. You 
ready for what's in store? You're the last to arrive, Asahi. You guys, have you all decided what to do? I'm going to find everyone again. I'm going to cheer for the world. I'm going to become a hero. I'm going to tear that freak a new one. I'm going to get my answer. I'm going to fulfill my sworn duty. And I'm going to tell you all later. Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's a very Asahi thing to say. Yeah, it really is. The hurdles are all set up in front of us. If anyone dares to get nervous now, they'll have to deal with me. I'm actually kind of excited about this. Me too. And you can count on me to see it through. You all look so determined. So, let me tell you this not as an information dealer, but as a friend. Last night at UBX, during the broadcast, a new Delusionscape entrance appeared. This is the final delusion, I believe. The one to end all delusions. Thank you very much, Akemi. It's nothing, really. You've all got my heart pounding harder than it has in quite a while. So, go, all of you. Go to your destinies. Let's do this. I look forward to the day we meet again.